the team morale is excellent. You know, the, the guys are just so good. They just get on and, and do the work. It, it took us a long time to get here. And then we had three days in isolation. Um, we had a really good training session last night. The boys are just keen to get out there. You know, we, we, we've had so many setbacks. We, 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 we don't have a lot of our regular players here. Uh, we, you know, our bowling coach, uh, unfortunately, that happened. We don't have our captain here, our new captain. So it's, um, it, it's, it, it's all, it's, it, it's all a little bit of a disruption. But to be honest, the boys just take it in their strides. We all got down last night. We worked incredibly hard, and and the training was of a really high standard. You know, and I always say, you know, this is opportunities for other some young players now. You know, we. We short a lot of our regular players, but it, it's opportunities for young boys to step up. And I can't wait to see these young guys get out there and do and do the job and show us what they've got. Well, well, the experienced guys, this is a real opportunity for them, you know, to 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 put in some really good performances to to get themselves into that uh, eventual World Cup squad. I've got a pretty good idea as I sit here with the selectors on what our best our best eleven um, is. Uh, what our best 15 is. I've got a real good idea, but there's, there's, as I say, there's opportunities here and now for the guys because we 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 are, have got so many of those guys that would start out. Um, this gives us a again, you know, you talk the likes of Kusil Jonathan Pereira, you talk of Isuru Dana, you talk of um, uh, the Ivishka Fernando's not here. Um, we talk of Dana J. De Silva not here. So, so you know, we, there are a lot of these guys out. But again, as I as I say, it's it's a real good opportunity, and I sp expect these young guys to really come in and play without fear and show us what they can do. And I tell you what, at the training session last night, these guys were superb. I was really impressed with them. The intensity around our fielding session was outstanding. The way they got stuck in in pretty tough conditions in the nets and. And, and showed us what they had was um, was great. So there's a real good feeling around the team. And again, as I say, it's opportunities for young guys to show us, and some senior players, to show us that they deserve an opportunity in that World uh, in that World Cup squad in the in the next couple of months. Patim Nasenka, I've been very impressed with him. You know, I hadn't seen him before because he had been injured from the time I got here, and then you know we had COVID, so we we. For eight and a half months, I didn't see any players. Um, it's the first time I've seen Patim Nasenka, and I'm very impressed with him. He certainly could be an all-three format player for Sri Lanka. Very, very exciting young talent. I look at the, 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 with the T20. It's with the Kookaburra white ball. So um, the Duke is is for Test cricket. So uh, what, what we've seen is is at the venue we trained at last night. Coolidge Cricket Club was where we playing the 2020s. The, the the wicket is very, very bare at the moment, um, really bare. I think it is going to take a little bit of turn. And the reason we've got so many of these spinners in, in the mix is to have a look at them, to make sure that we know what our best combination is when we go to Asia Cup and when we go to the World Cup, because they're both in subcontinent conditions where we think spin's going to play a clear role. So this is clearly an audition for the spinners to show us that they – Deserve an opportunity and a and a and a position in that in that ultimate World Cup squad. I, I think and I had a long chat to Mali. I think Mali can play a real role for us in a mentoring capacity with our with our our, our young quick bowlers, um, and I, particularly in the white ball in the white ball format. Mali's got a wealth of knowledge, um, and and you know I'd like to see him being able to impart that knowledge onto our onto our younger bowlers. But I think I think um, Mali in terms of his cricket career, I think I think um, he's had a fantastic career, and, and, and you know I don't want to, to talk for him, but um, you know I, I think I, I think it, it, with the World Cup being cancelled last year, it's just become a bridge too far for him. But uh, he's had a wonderful career, and 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 I do see a role for him mentoring our young quick bowlers without a doubt. Bandara last night he impressed me. You know, at the at, at our training session he was enthusiastic. He's very busy at the crease when he when he bats, and he is electric in the field. You know, he just creates that an amazing intensity. So I'm looking forward to these, particularly Patan Nasanka and and a guy like Bandara getting an opportunity somewhere along the line and showing us what they can do because their enthusiasm, their skills. Um, are fantastic. We've just, they're very raw. We we've just got to we've just got to polish them off, you know. 
as I say, they, they're very your, but they, they've got lots of skill and they're, they're, they're very enthusiastic. Bandara was busy when he batted last night, and then he also bowls little leg spinners as well. So, you know, potentially he could give you an over here or there. So very excited with him as well.